Hey guys, welcome back to the Wad Dog Project 365, episode 1543. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, jump on over to thewaddoc.com. Check out all of our full length videos, which we house there. What we're talking about today is bending versus hinging, uh, particularly in the movement, the deadlift, and on the downward portion of the deadlift, as, as we're bringing it from the hip level back down to the ground, how bending can get us in trouble, and how what we really want to do is initiate a hinge. Now, when we identify this movement right here, we would say that that's a hinging motion, right? Because I have a solid torso and I have a separation between my lower extremities, so I have a nice hinge in this position. But this movement right here and this movement right here are different, although they look very similar to. Let's take a bar to hopefully clarify this just a little bit. I'm gonna move up forward so you can concentrate on my hips. If I was to go ahead and hinge, it looks like this. See how my butt is going horizontally backwards, right? And that bar is tracking downwards here, right? So it's very vertical. Butt backwards, bar horizontal, or bar vertically downwards, straight down. Now if I bend, it looks very similar but see what happens right there? So that movement is very similar. I still have a vertical bar path, but well, here's what happens. If I step out just a little bit, you can see. If I come in this direction, I can still keep all my weight off my toes. That weight stays to the rear foot, mid foot area. If I bend rather than hinge, and I look like this, I'm gonna exaggerate just a little bit. This weight, pushes out forwards, the bar gets away from me. Yes, I keep the, I use the lats to keep that backwards, but, right, I still have momentum going in that direction, okay? So what I wanna do, come back, I wanna think about starting the descent of this lift as a horizontal movement, meaning that my butt is gonna come that way, right? Obviously, I still keep lat engagement, so the bar still stays there, but the movement starts with a horizontal movement of my butt coming backwards. This allows this straight descent downwards for the bar, right? Rather than starting it with a chest movement forwards. Chest movement forwards, I can still look like a hinge, but it's not gonna give me the same result. I'm gonna get anterior translation of the weight, and it's gonna make it much harder uh, on my blow back, possibly create injury, maybe not, uh, but uh, not gonna be as proficient movement standard, right? So questions in this, comments, post them below. Otherwise, we are here each and every day optimizing function to optimize performance.